All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to make some animation for our actual application, right? So, um, you know, we if you haven't seen this before, we, we're building the uh, application. We're actually transitioning the 30-day YouTube challenge that we did for, you know, we built the whole application from the servo controls all the way up to the app, the HMA application, which was Factory Talk 7. We've converted it to Factory Talk 10, right? Factory Talk, Factory Talk Studio SE 10. And uh, we've also converted the control logics uh, processor over we converted it it all over to the actual uh, this is version 32 so what we're going to do here is we're going to add some controls um, very 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 simple uh, animation in here so we can we're going to homemade bake basically make our own homemade animation right just like we did the rest of the stuff where we homemade everything one day by day we're going to kind of add on to that as we're going so we're going to make some animation in here, and while it's running, we're going to actually see that. And then we're going to start the client, or I'm just going to watch it. So well, first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to make it really, really, really simple. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One, you can make your own, and then we're going to actually utilize some stuff like shapes and stuff like that. So, um, so again, so let's go ahead and make our own first. So we're going to draw, right? So we're going to come in here and draw. We're going to do a hand, a line, right? Come in here and do a line, and then we're gonna come in here and isolate this up here. And let's go ahead and close this panel so I can get my, um, get this over here just like that. And let's drag this, actually let's come in here and, and uh, get this off of here. Get this off of the screen right now because we don't need it. And that way we can actually see this a little bit closer. Oh, yeah, where we go. Get this up here and then come in here just like this. So we want to draw this in here. So let's just go back and make sure we still have our line. We do we still have our line. We want to draw a line from here to here. Okay, so this is make sure our line is correct. All right, we don't want to have any, we don't want to have that in there. So. What I want to do is straighten that out first. And then we're okay, so now we have that there. Good. So now we want to come in and change the thickness of this line. So we're going to change the thickness of the line properties. And we're going to change the thickness of the line. Let's just say, let's see what three looks like. It's probably going to be a little thick. Um, that's a little thick. So let's go with two right now. Okay, so we're going to build this out, right? So we have the dimensions now. We have what we want, and so let's go ahead and make a sec copy this, control C and control B. So then we're gonna copy this section. We're gonna come over here to rotate. We're gonna rotate it around. Okay, we're gonna rotate that around. Now again, this is Factory Talk SE, so side edition. So we have some tools in here that we're, we're able to do that are not as, as uh, are actually as are easier, I should say, that are easier on, um, that are easier on Factory Talk SE than they are on ME. So just keep that in mind, but this isn't SE. So we'll make sure we get this kind of square, get it in there, get it inside of our, our actual circle here and make sure that we have these right. So we wanna make sure that this is not too too big, right? Let's make sure it fits properly. So now we got to make them where they fit properly. That's good. So now what we do is we can come in here and actually come in a little closer. Control C again. Control V. Or actually Control C. Hold that down. And then we what, what we want to do here is we want to actually come in and group these together. Okay, so now I have them grouped together. So now I want to Control C. Control V. Actually, I did the wrong one so we come back up here and undo that so we make sure we get the right one control c control v and then we, now we want to rotate this one okay so actually let's let's put it in put it closer to almost on top of each other and then what we'll do is we'll kind of drag it we'll get the lines right and then we'll come over here and twist this so that we kind of get that effect, right? So we kind of want to get that pizza wheel effect, right? And then we want to come back over here to our arrow and line these two up. 
perfect. All right, so if you want to get them even as close as you can, come over here and get even get closer than that. So, let's see, we got and do that. Make sure we hit the right one. So this is this is this was right. This one is right. So now we need to hit this one. I think we're almost a sexy pan out a little bit. So I think we're too close. So let's come in here and make sure we have this. That's a good way to good easy way to do it. Okay, so we do notice that we do have a little bit of overlap. So what we want to do is edit this a little bit. So you see we can kind of drag this up a little bit and drag it back a little bit as well. And then make sure that none of these are kind of overlapping the screen. Okay, so we have this kind of built out, right? So what I want to do, and as much as this is going to be a little strange, is I'm going to take this, I'm going to come out and drag both of these out here. Okay, so I'm going to drag both of these out here. I'm going to lay them on top of each other just like I did before. Just like I did. Now, each one of these I'm going to have a different animation for. So, I'm going to do visibility. Okay, so first and foremost, where am I going to get the animation from? I already have a readout here. Okay, so I already have a readout here for the actual speed control. So I'm going to get the velocity. Okay, I'm going to come in and get the velocity. And I'm going to come in and pick one of these. And I'm going to do visibility. And I'm going to hit a expression. I'm going to say if the velocity is greater than zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put that in, uh, in its own equation not not equation but its own little this whole statement has to be true and then I'm gonna come in and put and then I'm gonna grab a tag I'm gonna come in and grab our tag from our basically our system and the system tag I'm gonna grab is basically a general one that you normally would and I'm gonna grab something like uh, like a slow blink would be perfectly fine for this and then we'll say so if this tag is greater than, if the velocity is greater than zero and the blink is on, then we want to come in and do one. Else, we're going to do zero. Now, we wanna verify that that syntax is good. We wanna copy that. And the reason we're gonna copy that is we're gonna use it again. Okay, so this is visibility. Okay, we're gonna come in and put that there. That's visibility, visibility for one of them. The other one, we're gonna come over here and do the same thing. Paste this in here again. Make sure we go to expression. Now we're gonna change this to and, and then we're gonna go not. Okay, so I'm gonna say and not. And then I'm gonna check my expression again. So I'm saying if, if the servo velocity one right is greater than zero and not so and and the blink slow is not on then I want to want okay so now I've got these together now what I want to do is I'm going to group these together so I'm going to click off of that I'm going to control I'm going to, I'm going to click on one of them I'm going to control and then I'm going to click on the other one I'm going to group it together and then I'm going to put some actual um, animation on this one so what I want to do is I want to go on my code real quick I'm going to find out where my machine run code is right so I'm going to come in here grab this get this bit right here which is going to be a controller scope tag right the controller scope tag and I'm going to get that so we're going to go into here we're going to go and search that in our actual I'm going to go to animation visibility and we're going to go to tags and then we're going to come into our Actually, let's come into right here and let's just drag this over and let's refresh the tags just to make sure we have all of our tags in our tag database. And then we come in here and pick them from here. So we're just going to online, being this is controller scope, it's at the high level. 
it's not at the lower level of one of the programs or something like that then we're going to come down here and go to our actual machine run command if you see that machine run command that's the bit we want to use so now we have that in there for visibility okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one of these and then I'm gonna build the rest of them kind of quick and then we'll come in here and act, actually uh, you know have this we'll show an example of this actually running all of them running together and then we're gonna do it a slightly different way as well too so we're gonna put that in there just like that right so now we have that in there we're gonna pan out so we have one of them done right now what we want to do is we want to actually save and we want to crank up the application so we're going to go into uh, the client we're going to crank that up we're going to run the client hit run real quick so now we're going to actually see this actually transpire we're going to see this actually running now again so uh, while we're doing this right I'm going to explain we use an if then and else statement to say if the servo velocity is actually above the state of zero, right? If it's above the velocity of zero, then we're gonna run it. But hold on, we didn't just do that, right? We said, if the servo velocity is greater than zero, the average velocity is greater than zero, and the blink slow is on, we're gonna cut it on, right? Or the other one, we said, if the servo velocity, average velocity is greater than zero and the blink slow is not on, we want to cut that one on. And on top of that, we grouped them together and said, if the machine's running, then we want to see it. Okay, so we're going to crank up our, our client right now. Running our client, we want to come into our screen. So we're actually seeing our client, we're actually seeing this running. Let's actually, it's in a running state right now. Let's actually stop it. To verify that we're going to verify that the actual um, so we're not actually seeing the graphic we're not actually seeing the graphic running right so if we come in here now don't get me wrong the graphic can be done a lot better but what I want to do is stress the fact that you can make your own graphics and, and just show your own stuff kind of running and this is as simple as that was just making a couple animated lines on a simple application is just as easy as that was under 10 minutes right so when it comes down to it now we can come down here and edit the rest of these so I'm going to edit the rest of these and show all of them running the same exact way now I'm going to show you the beauty of SE as well so what I'm going to do is quickly copy these I'm going to quickly edit these and then we'll come back and do this right so I'm going to speed the video up at this point Okay, so now what I've done is I've actually came in here and edited that. So all I have to do is, since I've saved it, is actually come in here and cycle the screens and then come in here and see that running. So as simple as this was, right, to show that actually running. Now I can change all those bits too to like a fast if I wanted to and show those, but you can see they're actually running. Now if I hit the stop button, right, I hit the stop button, now the system is stopping, you won't see any of them right so this axis one two three four and then we can also change the speed if we wanted to change that syntax and have that fluctuate a little bit faster depending upon the gear ratio that we have too if we wanted to do it based upon the gear ratio but I wanted to show you a real simple example of how to do some animation that you can build yourself really 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 simple and then what I want to do is on the comment on the very next video and when we come in on the very next video what I want to do is actually show you how to use some of the the graphics that are already there some of the glow the the actual objects that it, Rockwell gives you the 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 library use the ones in the library and custom make it for what we're doing here just to show it running show it actually cycling and a little bit better than what it is right now because this is a this is okay this is cool but again, I want to show some different stuff. I want to show it differently, you know, done. But with the, maybe even using the, uh, the same syntax or maybe even a different syntax. But still, this is showing how to make your own graphic and how to do that. So when I was speeding it up, all I did, I made the first one. And uh, just to give you a kind of, uh, I know you probably may or may not have seen that. All I did was do a tag substitution. And it was really quick and easy when I just copy and pasted them. So. Again, this is how to make your own graphic and how to animate your own graphic 
using Factory Talk SE version 10 and using Side Edition. So if uh, you like this video and you enjoyed it, again, check out the other videos where I actually made this application, where I built it from scratch. And again, these were all built one day at a time, whether it be from 10 minute videos to 16 or 17 minute videos. I built them one day at a time. You've seen the application get built. You've seen the actual code get built. And again, now we've changed it. We transitioned it to version uh, 32. And then we also changed Factory Talk SE from version 7 to version 10. Okay, so uh, I just want to make a quick little video and show you how to do that. And hopefully, guys, you appreciated that. And we'll see you guys on the next one.